Hey, good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Business Basics with Action Coach Campus. My name is Lee Iben, and my special guest today is Dallas with Ascended Electronics, which uh, if you've not checked out Dallas's website yet, go there after this interview and check it out because it's way cool. Dallas, welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're doing great. So Dallas, tell us a little bit about you, first of all, and how you got involved in this whole electronics thing. Yeah. So um, I'm 28 years old and I went to school at the University of Iowa. And I also have a background in sales and service and high end electronics. Um, to keep it short, you know, basically I worked first actually after high school because I knew what I wanted to do already. And then after I got that training, I went to school to further my professional knowledge in regards to business and how to create good ideas and implement them and bring a good team together cool. because you don't really learn those skills when you're an hourly employee, um, right. when you're 19 and 20. So that's something you really gotta go to school for. And after I got what I needed out of the university, I took what I was doing as a, as like a side job in school and turned it into a full-time business. Um, about the business a little bit, uh, you know, we're Ascended Electronics as a local, what I would like to call boutique electronics retailer. Okay. And we specialize in custom solutions for residential and commercial customers looking to fulfill their electronics needs, you know, so instead of pointing you towards a few items on the shelf uh, to choose from, you know, we personally consult with every customer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And that helps us bring the best solution to that customer rather than just saying, Hey, you know, this is what we have pick one. It might be good, might work. Um, but we really do a good job in trying to create something unique for every customer, uh, for all of our products. You, you know, Dallas, I can, I can tell that you really care about what you do and that you're passionate about what you do because on your website, I, I'm, I'm kind of going from memory here, but it was kind of cool because you said, we really don't care if you're bringing your own parts. Seriously, we will help yeah. you build the computer that you want. How cool is that? Yeah, it's, uh, you, you know, I actually just made that statement within recent time, like the past couple of weeks. Um, there's a there's kind of an issue in the custom computer industry where and more or less the home theater industry where, you know, self-proclaimed enthusiasts mm -hmm. kind of um, th there are people that want to buy parts and do things themselves, which ironically, that is me. Uh, but I don't really serve myself as a customer. Right. And it's really important to clarify uh, what type of business you are, um, because there are a lot of people trying to buy like individual parts for their projects. And that's not the type of place where we're more of a full service. Um, so that statement, I'm not going to go over that whole thing, but it kind of just helped clarify um, what we do. And it's extremely, I'm all about transparency. So like if people want to know what they're paying, I mean, it's all right there. And it yeah. kind of explains you know what we charge for exactly rather than th there's a big problem within the computer industry where like small computer shops grossly overprice custom pcs mm -hmm. and my goal is to not do that while still offering a good product um, with good knowledge so well you know uh, I mean, it, it, well, it, it's great that you're in the community dallas because honestly that that is the case i think i think most people 90 percent of the people myself included you know you read the stuff online you try to be as educated as you can before you go into a, a big box superstore and buy that cool laptop you know and but you really don't know what you're looking for i, I mean seriously they'll say hey how much memory do you need it's like i don't know a lot <laughs> um so okay. it's great to have somebody of your profession and background available uh in the iowa city area this is terrific yeah and you know we really we're, we're trying something unique. Um, I've always, you know, up until like 10 years ago, people weren't really informed in sales processes, whether it was buying a car or buying a television or a computer or whatever. Right. Uh, our specialty is basically to take that work out of it 
and to guarantee the customer that they're going to get all of the benefits of them researching beforehand without having to put the work into doing it. Yeah, sweet. Um, sweet. So, you know, giving them a fair price. So, oh, yeah. So, who would you, you've been in business now for three years, Dallas? Tell me who's your, your primary target market? Who are, who's your number one shopper, I guess, or customer? Yeah, so I would say our best customer is someone that doesn't really know much about technology, but wants all of the benefits in their home or business of that technology. So, you know, we, we essentially, like I said, we take all the work of needing to know how something works and we essentially give it to the customer in a completed custom and optimal form. Okay. So after we figure out what you need, we kind of do the rest of the work and, you know, get people into things that they might not know exist or right. that we know the best solution. Yeah. So if I want to hook up like a, a really big home theater type system in my house, is that something you could help me out with? Yep. Putting all those yeah. pieces and, together? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we do. And in addition to performing that uh, in regards to home theater, the, the products that we use, um, you really can't like buy online and you mm -hmm. can't buy them at a big box store. Uh, one that would stand out would be Paradigm and Anthem. Okay. Uh, Paradigm Speakers is a well-known high-end uh, speaker brand, but they do not let very many places sell their stuff. Okay. Um, so they, like, they won't let Best Buy or Amazon sell them. You can't buy them online. You're only able to buy that stuff from knowledgeable dealers that they have like, they have a pretty, pretty long vetting process is all I'm gonna uh -huh. say. Um, which unfortunately severely limits purchasing power on the consumer's end, but right. their products kind of speak for themselves. And mm -hmm. you know, that, that's the kind of stuff we do is if, if you really want something good that nobody else has, uh, you know, we're trying to bring that unique high-end solution in town. Love that. I just love that. And, and business has been going well for you, I take it? You know, it's really odd, but it's been relatively steady. Okay. Uh, regardless of the pandemic, I mean, like revenue's gone down a little bit, but I just more or less think that's just kind of how business is. I mean, we haven't been in business long enough to see what our revenue is going to be consistently. Right. So, but it's the average more or less has stayed the same over the past uh, year and a half. Good. Um, well, so not a big dip then from COVID-19 so much. No, the, the only thing that really sucks for us about that is like people don't want to come in as much. Uh, mm -hmm. People don't want to set their house as much. And I can't really schedule. I, I haven't been scheduling anybody really to come in and work. Um, our marketing interns are doing a little bit of remote work, but that's about it. I'm doing yeah. pretty much everything right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. You know, um, and everyone's being cautious right now. And we have to be. I mean, we're all masked up when we're out with people, you know, lots of hand sanitizer. I think we all have some in our cars and our bags and backpacks and everything else, but that's, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get through this thing. Um, so tell me what, what are some of the things, uh, business advice that you would give to another business owner? Now, this is based on your three years. What are, what's the, like the, the blinding flash of the obvious that you, that you could pass on to somebody else? Yeah, I've actually got a few good pieces of advice, um, even though I'm under 30 and I've only been officially running this for a few years, but I've already learned a lot. I think I learned the most within the first six months. So um, so even though we're still in the startup phase, you know, I can still share a few things. So yeah, uh, so as much inventory as you can by the end of the year. I learned that the hard way. Uh, if you're the owner, you know, because you can't write that off, so you might right. as well sell it. Yeah. Um, and new stuff's always going to be coming out the next year anyway. So get rid of all of it by the end of the year. Yep. Uh, if you are the owner, you're never going to get a tax refund again in your life unless you have some <laughs> situation. So that's the truth. Oh, my word. You're always going to owe thousands of dollars in taxes, which makes sense because you don't get, you know, that deducted in a paycheck, but you just need to remember to plan for that. Yep. Uh, you know, you're always going to owe money at the end of the year. So plan for that, especially the younger people yep. might not realize that, um, you know, keep your work phone and your, your, uh, devices that have any sort of communication, just keep that at work. If you're not working, 
Okay. You know, for the first like little bit of time, it's okay, but you need to learn separation of work and home sooner than later. If you want to stay sane, uh, this next point kind of piggybacks off that, but you know, you should use all of the holidays, um, in the calendar year as your built in days off as the owner. Okay. Um, you know, with, with the exception of, uh, retail and black friday and small business saturday you know you probably should close those days but you know thanksgiving christmas july 4th every holiday state holiday you really should be taking those off um, because otherwise you'll never take a day off yourself right so um but really ultimately you should start a business based on what you like what you enjoy and know well mm-hmm. for example i'm proof of concept here so i've always liked and worked with electronics my whole life. Um, I know I can work with them. And I always dreamed of, you know, having my own store and bringing my own products in. Uh, So I worked at an electronics retailer and did sales and service, um, even though I did that in my spare time as an enthusiast. So uh, maybe maybe work somewhere that's similar to the idea of what you want to do and then make it yourself. Um, but don't just, uh, don't start a business based off something you learned in school or, you know, you, somebody thinks this is a good idea or you see an opportunity. If it's something you're not actually passionate about, you know, you really shouldn't do it because you're not going to put 110% in. There's just no way. That's so right. mo- the most successful businesses and corporations in the world were uh, more or less started by people who had uh, a passion for that industry. So right. if that's really what you want to do and that's really what you like. Um, you know, you should be doing that. And, uh, you know, if, if you're in school, um, this might not be the best advice for everybody, but for certain people like myself, uh, you know, don't follow the program, take classes that you actually want to learn their subject matter and are interested in, you know, as a business owner, your degree is worthless to anybody because the only person that's going to matter to in a job is the person above you and you're the top person. So you should be learning uh, what you want to learn and what you know is going to be valuable to your business. Right. Um, you know, business management, entrepreneurship, and philosophy classes come to mind when I'm talking mm-hmm. about that. Yep. Um, but your value as the owner comes from yourself and what you put into your business personally, uh, rather than you know what a what a school program is going to run you through in a management course. Mm-hmm. Um, small businesses today aren't going to thrive without having a niche that's personalized from the owner. So if the owner is boring and plain like everybody else, I guarantee that they're not going to stay around that long. If they're not willing That's to right. take risks, um, then you're not going to stay around that long. Exactly. Thank you for sharing all that. I mean, my goodness, that's exactly right. I mean, you have to, you have to be passionate about what you want to do because that's going to be those days when you find out that you owe thousands to the IRS. It's like, oh, why am I doing this? It's because yeah, of the right. passion. That's why, you know, oh, this is excellent stuff. Well, Dallas, well, tell, tell everybody, how can they find you? What's your, what's your physical address? What was also your web address and phone number? Go ahead and share that with us too. Yeah. So, um, we're located at 208 Stevens Drive, mm-hmm. and that's in between Sheer Madness and yep. another electronic store actually called IC Electronics. Okay. Um, we're actually friendly competition because they specialize more in like phones and okay. entry level, you know, like tablets, stuff like that. And we don't really do mobile devices. And they actually do a really good job of fixing. So if everybody, anybody ever wants a phone fixed, I just send them over there. Uh, but we got a big sign on the road that says Ascended Electronics. Um, it's actually right across from uh, the GoPuff warehouse. You no know, GoPuffs get pretty popular here for mm-hmm. a snack delivery. So right across the street from there, right next to Hy-Vee Waterfront. Okay. Um, so we're in that older, but you know, kind of busier area. Um, our website's ascended.tech. We're, we're going to see if the dot .tech uh, becomes big. You know, everybody's dot .com now, but all those domains are taken up. So we're going to see if right. dot .tech takes off with the electronic store. And uh, if it does, we were here first in 2020 <laughs> with that domain uh, before anybody else tries to get something like that. So I love um, it. Yeah, so I think uh, we, we've got a couple deals going on for Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and for December. Um, Great. What are they? We always, 
Uh, well, well, we'll put them out via social media and email, but okay. um, you know, they're, they're kind of just uh, like 15% off audio paradigms got 25% off speakers right now. Wow. Uh, all of our computers are $200 off and, and we got some other stuff in there too. So, uh, cool. but we always have a 5% discount for students, military and first responders and first responders includes police, firefighters and paramedics. Yep. Excellent. So anybody in public service or that's a student um, essentially always gets a 5% no limit discount with us. And that's kind of just something that I offer as I have been a student, I understand that life and I've never performed public service other than volunteering. So I figured I could, uh, you know, pay that back a little bit for the people who do that hard work every day. You bet. Well, that's fantastic. Well, Dallas, thank you for joining us on this episode of Business Basics. And um, we're yeah. going to share this out on our social media as well. Dallas, we'll get you a copy. And um, thank you all out there for watching this episode of Business Basics. Thank our special you. guest today was Dallas Thompson with Ascended Electronics. Thanks, Dallas. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thanks.